Hi guys, I'm Brian with Obedia and I'm going to tell you today about how to make use of MIDI arrangement overdub in Ableton Live 9. I want to thank Ableton for sending me Ableton Live 9 to allow me to do these overviews. Make sure to check them out at Ableton.com. Now, MIDI arrangement overdub is a little bit different in uh, Ableton Live 9. It's different from previous versions of Ableton. It threw some folks for a loop, and so I thought maybe we should go ahead and do a video on how to make use of MIDI arrangement overdub. Now, for those who are new to this, MIDI arrangement overdub simply means that when I'm working with a MIDI clip in Ableton, if I've recorded some MIDI, I want to be able to add new MIDI to those notes without recording over the previous MIDI notes that I had laid down. Now, because this is different in Ableton Live 9, I want to show you guys how to make use of MIDI arrangement overdub. Overdub. And in order to do that, we're going to make use of some of the new buttons that are here in the transport. Now, the transport is pretty self-explanatory as it has always been. We have the follow button, we have our current arrangement position, we have play, stop, record. Now I'm going to take this one step further, I'm going to show you guys how to make use of the session record button. The session record button is new. And what it allows us to do is, uh, when it is enabled, it's going to start recording in the selected scene on all the armed tracks, uh, all the tracks that are armed for recording. So, if a track is armed for recording in my Ableton session, and I click on the session record button, it's going to start the record process on all of those tracks, and therefore the clips that are in those scenes on those tracks. Uh, MIDI, uh, if MIDI is being recorded over, then it will uh, in enable the overdub recording on MIDI clips. I can overdub notes and automation. On audio clips, I can only overdub automation. So let me show you how I'm going to make use of this in order to MIDI arrangement overdub in Ableton. I have some drums here. And what I would like to do is first lay down my kick, and then secondly, I want to lay down my snare after that without recording over my kick. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to record my kick by just simply clicking on the record button on this clip. Alright, and let's play that back. Alright, now I want to lay a snare over these notes that I have just laid down. So, I'm going to find the snare on my keyboard. And now I'm going to make use of the session record button here in Ableton. Now again, what this is going to do is it's going to enable recording on any clip on a track which is record armed in the scene that I'm working with. Ableton works in scenes. All of my scenes are here on the far right hand side of my screen. And each of these scenes uh, is very useful for a number of different things, performance, recording, etc. But if I start recording using the session record button, that scene, any clips that are in, within it that are on a track that are record armed, like my drum track, are going to start recording. And I'm going to overdub information onto those uh, clips. Now in this case, I'm just going to make use of the one MIDI clip. And I'm going to session record over it by using the MIDI, MIDI arrangement overdub. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select that clip. I'm going to make sure that the uh, track that that clip is on is record armed. And I'm going to click the session record button. Now it's not perfect, but as you can see, I have now laid some new MIDI on top of the MIDI which I had previously recorded in my clip that I am working with on this specific track. And I did that by making use of the Session Record button. Now another great feature of the Session Record button is this is how I can on the fly add some new MIDI to a clip that I've been working with to show you how this works. Uh, take the clip that I have just previously laid down a little bit of information on. Let's say that I'm just simply playing it back and something strikes me immediately that I want to add. I don't have to stop and then start recording again. I can just simply click on session record while this clip is playing and add some new MIDI to it. Let me show you how this works. We'll play this back and then uh, we'll just quickly add some MIDI to it.
So that shows you just how easy it is to MIDI overdub on top of your existing MIDI clips that you have in your Ableton session. Like I say, this is a little bit different from what you were used to in previous versions of Ableton, but once you get used to it, it's not going to throw you for too much of a loop anymore. I hope that you guys found this useful. As always, if you have questions, comments, please leave them for me here on our video, or again, touch with me on Twitter and on Facebook, or of course, email me direct at brian at obedia.com. Even better, call me and work directly, one-on-one, -on -one, with an Obedia tutor just like myself. Find out how we can help you to get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software, help you tame your technology, get back to making music instead of dealing with technical issues every day. I hope that you guys found this useful. I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching and take care. Hey, 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 hey.